Today we're going to start talking about the speed of waves and we have uh, very important ideas with speeds of waves for light, for sound. Today we're going to be looking at the speed of waves in things like a guitar string or any other stringed instrument. When we talk about what sound is going to come out of our strings, it is very important for us to be able to calculate the speed of the wave as it travels through that string. So when you buy strings, you're going to get a bunch of different strings and it will mark off which string it is because each of these strings has a different thickness and mass and actually what's called a linear density. A linear density means how much mass is there for every meter of string. Okay, so today you have a program you're going to be using where you'll be testing two factors. You'll be testing the linear density. So you'll have six different strings that are different masses per meter. And you'll also be changing the tension in the string by using the little knobs on the guitar to change um, how much tension there is. And we'll see how that affects our speed. So how does tension affect speed? How does the density of the string affect the speed. So let's take a look at how we're going to do this. A virtual guitar, it will tell you the linear density of each of your strings. String one is, is the top string and string six will be your bottom string. So the most dense, the thickest string is at the top, the thinnest string is at the bottom. You can change the linear densities or you can change the tensions. For the first part, we're going to be looking at the effect of linear density. So it's important that all of your strings are tuned to the same tension. So click on the tuning area, and then you can just hit equalize, and it will make all of the strings the same tension as string number one. If you wanted to change string number one to a different value and hit equalize again, they will all tune to that same tension. When you're done setting them all at the same tension, make sure you record that tension and then hit return and then go and actually pluck each of the strings individually. So I'm going to start with string number one. I'm going to click on it and to pluck that string you just click on the little box at the bottom and then a wave will travel through that string and then at some point you want to hit stop and that will show you how far the, uh, the wave has traveled. So this is about 25.9 centimeters and that happened in 2,800 microseconds. Make sure you turn these to regular seconds. Remember there are a million microseconds in one second. So these waves are traveling really fast. So what we're seeing here is incredibly slowed down. So find the speed. And then you can go in and pluck each of the other strings in turn. The farther you let it travel, the more accurate your results will be. You don't have to let them all go the same amount. You can let them go different amounts each time. You don't care about the distance and the time you care about the speed. So although you need distance and time to find speed, they don't all have to be the same distance. Okay, when you're done testing the effect of linear density, you then want to click up here where it says standard strings and change it to equal mass strings. That will make all the strings the same. So instead of having a thick string at the top and a thin string at the bottom, all the strings will be identical. Now the only way to change the tuning is with these knobs. And now you're going to have to make all of these different. If any come out similar, like this 58 and 60, you want to reset that and try and get things that are very different from each other. It doesn't matter what order you do it. Your highest tension could be at the top, it could be in the middle, it could be at the bottom, it doesn't matter. 
just make sure you have six different tensions and make sure that they are vastly different from each other. Once you have six different tensions, return here. And again, go into the area where you pluck the string, send your wave, stop your wave, find your speed. When all said and done, open up the graphing program and you're going to see how speed is affected by the two factors for a stringed instrument, linear density and tension. Make sure when you do this, you do not have any graphs that are proportional. None of these graphs should be proportional or linear. Okay, so don't try to fit it with linear. These are a little more complicated relationships. Best of luck. If you have any questions, please let me know. I also figured I'd share with you the progress in my garden. So you can see I got a lot of potatoes coming up. I have a carrot patch coming up and also one stray potato that I don't know how it got there. I have a couple of broccoli plants that I put in this cage to try and keep the moths from laying eggs on there. Hopefully it'll work. I got some beans and peas coming up. I got lots of nice greens. Some turnips. Some beets. Some asparagus. And then my favorite area, the spinach and lettuce area.